since you've been premiers, the club's broken the record twice. You've taken all the credit, the girls? No, we've obviously been building um, year on year and being a foundation club, we were always um, bound to have a fair few members, so it's good to see that we've um, managed to break the record again. Hopefully, um, with our new season coming up pretty quickly, we'll be able to um, get some few, few more members on board. Has it been nice to have a bit of clarity about pre-season and when it starts and all the things that you guys need in an off-season when you had no idea seven days ago? Yeah, it's been a little bit of a challenging time the last few weeks, just trying to sort everything out with um, off-season and getting through work and some girls had um, holidays booked and everything and we had no idea what was really going on but um, it's good to have that clarity now and we can lock in and um, start doing our pre-pre-season. Um, we start I think on the 12th or 13th of June now so we have that date set in um, place and the girls are super excited to get back on the track and hopefully um, yeah, go one better and make a grand final again this time around. How much does, uh, when, when you guys are part time athletes in not so much ways and you're juggling your jobs and footy, how much does a 90% pay rise make your life easier? Yeah, it'll be huge for a lot of the girls. A lot of us still have full time roles and um, jobs outside of football, so it's going to make it a lot easier to take time off if we need to because we know that we have that financial backing um, more so that we have had previous years, and we're um, extremely grateful to the AFLPA for backing us in and um, getting the deal done in the end. But um, and obviously with the AFL. So, um, yeah, we're just super grateful that we get um, this position to uh, keep playing. So, um, obviously, the girls are stoked to get a pay rise, but at the end of the day, we're still playing footy. So, that's the main thing. And a new facility just around the corner. It's a pretty good time to be playing women's footy. Yeah, absolutely. So, Springfield's obviously still a couple of months away, but we're super excited to finally have a, a home. Um, we've obviously had five or six home venues over the, over the first six seasons, so it'll be good to. Um, have a place that we can call home and obviously share with the boys um, for a whole week so we don't have to try and um, move things around and um, obviously yeah just be able to go out there and spend time out there and not just have to come in every so often for the club um, and yeah it'll be it'll be great for everyone um, I'm super excited to obviously have that venue so hopefully it's coming along nicely